What is happening everybody, Noob Get Good here and welcome to the Geonosis Scepter's Might and in this video we are going to go through Phase 1's uh, combat missions that aren't the uh, Geonosian battle uh, which is in another separate video. So I've got three teams to showcase for you. Um, two of the teams I get full clear, so four out of four and then I have an experimental team that doesn't do uh, so well. But uh, just to point out, I don't have uh, Darth Revan for use in this, so that's a, sort of a team that's gone. Um, so I use a uh, an Empire, sorry, an Empire, a uh, Emperor Palpatine lead team. I've got a Triumph team, and then a, a hybrid so-so team. So this one we're using Palpatine, Malak, Vader, Thrawn, and I am going to put Wampa in. I will showcase the mods. Uh, and stats of this team at the end of this battle uh, and this is a showcase of how not to really run a battle um, if you've seen some of the other videos that I've posted um, there's some I talk about turn order quite heavily the only thing that I really concentrate first off is clearing the clone Met trooper medic he will revive clones so I want to make sure we burn him down but this is not a particularly difficult battle Especially in the first sort of couple of phases. Um, a gear 12 team should be able to run through this. And apart from Malik who's gear 13, uh, all the others are gear 12. So should be no problems for them. Um, but this team for me is um, is really, really good. Really, really, um, really useful. Um, it's probably a team as long as I don't need to put any of these into um, platoons uh, in the latter stages. It's probably a team that I'll run, run through. Uh, might swap out um, Wampa for others, but I'll have Wampa in this team purely for the AoE days. Uh, apologies for a pop-up that you just saw. Um, at this point, I failed to turn off pop-ups uh, while I was in battle or recording on the screen. So, yep, first phase down. Uh, pretty, pretty simple. And again, walked into the, the next phase, looking for the phone art trooper. Should be the priority for me burning down, especially because the clone sergeant is currently stunned. The clone sergeants have a massive AoE, um, and they literally do a shed ton of damage on the AoE. So I should be going after the uh, the arc trooper here, and I should be burning the arc trooper down to the end, um, and then just sustaining on um, the sergeant to make sure that he can't um, use his AoE. That's what I should have done. Didn't quite do it. And at that point, I should have actually drained force the clone sergeant. So don't just go off and spam you, your uh, abilities just like I am. Because you do need to think about who am I going to take out. But luckily, because uh, the old Malak is there, they do get feared. So that's uh, you know, a stun. And you basically release that stun by attacking them. And they have their cool, uh, cooldowns put up by one. So at this point, just taking out the clone trooper. I've got fear on um, the clone sergeant, so don't really need to attack him. Thought I could have killed him with that shock, but I didn't. And now should be just using basics to uh, have our cooldowns hopefully reset for the next phase. So coming into phase three, and if you've seen some of my other videos, this team wiped out uh, my droids. Uh, in the uh, special mission and this is how easy um, this one can be so Rex for me is the priority target here and then I should go for the medic um, so what I was hoping to get is Rex down to almost dead go over and control the medic um, to stop him from healing but I didn't quite didn't quite work out so he healed um, Rex up which is not too bad you know And then we take down Rex. Nice and simple. So turn swap onto Wampa. Probably then what I should have been doing is turn swapping into uh, Malik just to get his drain force down um, as quickly as possible because that move is basically an annihilate. It's a very close annihilate ability. Um, if they've got protection, then you know, they can get saved. But um, it obviously goes up max health. So you want that going off as quick as you can. Um, and now the rush is to try and get to the medic and kill the medic as quickly as possible. Can't quite do that because he is stealthed. So just got to take down the clone sergeant, but you know, when there's only this many people left, 
um, an ability block, which I get off the speed up that I've got applied there. It's quite nice. And then basic for Wampa. And as I said, Wampa's only in this team purely for the AoE days that he can uh, he can land. Which I find uh, really, really useful. And he can do some insane damage. So, into phase four, we've got uh, Padakin. Uh, Padakin? Uh, Padawan, Anakin. Um, he's my primary target. I don't believe he can get revived from the medic. Um, so I wanted to control him as much as possible. If you saw my Geonosian uh, sort of combat mission, he absolutely decimated my Geonosians. So at this phase, you know, stage, he is controlled. Um, he's fractured, he's stunned. Um, probably could have, should have kept that on, but, you know, hey ho. But Anakin is my primary target, and I'll be, you know, shifting concentration onto him as soon as I possibly can. So, there we go. He's now ability blocked as well, so now I've got a stun behind on that. Now let's concentrate on the medic. Got this shock on the medic. And now, again, time to burn down Anakin. Clone Trooper. Clone Trooper. Yeah, it is Clone Trooper. Um, and he's done, obviously, his AoE, and Womp is gone. But Womp has done his job by getting us into phase four. Um, you know, but out of this team, he is the weak link. You could replace him. Um, I was toying with Dooku before you, know, you saw the video open. Um, but I think Wampa, he can have damage potential um, to do some really good stuff. So. But Anakin's down again. That was the, the main focus. I now should be focusing on the uh, medic. There we go. Because he can do the revives of the, uh, the clones that we've got rid of. That's a really poor saber toss. I knew um, it wouldn't kill it. But luckily, Drain Force uh, comes back. So yeah, what I should be doing is turn swapping straight into Malik every single time because that helps reduce his cooldowns a lot, lot quicker. You get Drain Force out and uh, you're just going to have such an easy time and use the Fracture for controlling the primary target that you want to take out. So that in this battle was Anakin, if that's Fives, if that's Cody, um, if that's Mace, you take down you know the biggest threat that you have to the battle. But yeah, there you go, four out of four. Pretty simple battle. Really love that team, especially for the early phases. Wampa can, can get replaced. But I'll now go through and just showcase to you the team that I used and sort of the mods they up. And you know, these aren't god mods or anything like that. They're not even properly modded. So just backed out um, and come in. You can see a glimpse of the team that I'm working on. So there we go, gear 13 Malik. Um, yeah, double zetered. Probably could mod him a lot better for some more health. I've got a crit damage and a crit chance set on him. I think that works um, pretty nicely actually. Um, just to do the damage, he does get a lot of turns. Get him critting, really, really nice. Next on the list is uh, Emperor Palpatine. I've got a full, uh, well, two lots of potency and a bit of health on there for a bit of sustain. He's got 100-ish, 102, there we go, uh, potency. Need that potency to land the uh, the shock and the stun, because especially in the later phases, um, they have ridiculously high tenacity, so yeah. Double Zetered, obviously. Next we go is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, got his Zeta on an ebb and flow. Uh, really useful. But this guy should be, you know, modded for speed. I should get some more speed on him. And he is your, you know, your controller. You're fracturing. your TM swapping, you know, especially to Malik to get him to, to roll a lot quicker. And don't underestimate the synergy that him and... Uh, Vader have Vader can ability block on his basic. Once there's an ability block, Thrawn comes in and uh, uses his basic, and there's a guaranteed stun. Lots of control. That's why this team for me is really really good. So again, that's that. And then we finally we'll go into Wampa. Um, again, this is uh, modded for the HAAT uh, Heroic AAT uh, raid. And that's purely why I've got him modded like the way I have. Haven't uh, changed my mods for that. And I, I don't want, I want to get to a situation where I've got mods. But yep, this is this battle done. I will uh, now cut off uh, to our second battle. Okay, on to the second battle. So down into the south. Um, obviously, just seen um, 
Emperor Palpatine and his team rock and roll. We're now going to rock out the uh, Triumvirate. So we're going to get Darth uh, Treyer out here. You can see here, Max Seated, just showcasing the, the mods first. Um, so she's got a bit of speed. Um, but I haven't really modded her particularly well, to be honest. Uh, you want high speed on this lady. Um, potency can be good to transferring some debuffs over. Uh, but really, she's here for her abilities and her fracture. Uh, Darth Son should be tanky as hell. Um, you need him to survive. And you need to, him to be tanky enough to get held by hatred up. Once he's got held by hatred up, um, it becomes a lot easier because there's a revive, right? So you want him fast. Obviously, it's not a room without having Darth Nihilus. This man is the MVP. Um, he's here for Nihilate, right? That is it. That is the reason why you have him. Try and get him quite quickly. Um, again, not overly modded. Not god mods. Um, I need to revamp some of my mods for, for these guys. Um, used to be my arena team, obviously, when I got Darth Treyer. Um, and over time, I've as I've shifted... They've just got rejected um, mods on just to, to max them out. Obviously using Dooku. Um, yeah. I was toying whether or not to use Dooku in um, the other battle with Emperor Palpatine. But what I quite like is he has really good synergy with the Treyer. Um, special. When they're, um, when you hit um, an enemy with a debuff on, you, give, you, you heal the team. Uh, and obviously he can counter twice when he gets hit. So, yeah, you get some, some nice heals on that. And then we're going to use um, Crew, I think it is that I use. Yep, so Kylo Ren uh, unmasked. I forget to show you the mods completely on this one. But the reason why I've got Crew in here is literally to try and help Sion get held by Hatred up. That is it. That is all I want a Crew in here for. Um, He's a tank and he's a, a good tank because he can self-regenerate quite nicely. So, um, that is why he's here. And as you can see, I've got an armor shred on Scion. He would not last at all long if um, if I didn't have another tank with me. Yeah, I could put Thrawn in here and, and do some TM swapping to, to get the train going uh, a little bit quicker. But, yeah. So, anyway, taking out Je Jedi Vanguard first. And what I would recommend here every single time is that whenever you get a fracture, you want to uh, select Darth Nihilus to reduce the damage. So, Annihilate's up already. Boom, right, there's some additional health. Thank you very much. Um, and that is what you're here for. And ideally, what you want to do is at the end of each of the phases, make sure that you have Annihilate ready to rock and roll. So, you, if someone like uh, Anakin comes up, Mace comes up, no matter who comes up, Shakti, whoever it is, Bang. See you later. Gone. Annihilated out the window. That is that is the plan. That is what I want. And there's Hell by Hatred. Now, Crew is done. His job, what I brought him in for, is done. Um, yeah, I don't need him anymore. So if he dies, he dies. I'm not overly fussed. I've got enough control with the other four team. The other four, I should say, in the team uh, to, to go through this. But... Obviously, the long peak you can survive, the less hits that um, Sion's taking. Crew's done his job. And at this point, it should just uh, be basicing. Even obviously, I had Annihilate on cooldown. No point using it for this one. Rather save that for the next one. So when I wake up, and bang, there's um, a Secura. And that is the person who should be getting the Annihilate. I think, that, I think that's who I Annihilate. But that's how I should would Annihilate now, right? Yep. See ya. She obviously has a stun. Uh, lots of sustain. Not the worst character that I could have seen. Um, you know, there are others that would have been a bit more painful. So. Again, thank you very much. Um, get that cooldown done. And this is why Crew is so good. He um, he's got a damage over time on him. Damage over time on him. Uh, it means nothing him, really. It's it's great. But the core here is for me is obviously the triumph. And I say I really think that um, Dooku is great in this team because he can um, as I say double tap, so it's just double tap heal. And again, obviously only use uh, held by hatred when you really really need to. 
uh, once it's up. That's your, you know, your safety net in this team. Should probably just use the basic there. And I, I'll just say, just remind myself that I need to go to the clone. The other good thing about crew as well, which helps him, is when he basics on uh, an enemy with a debuff, he gains taunt. So again, it, it just helps just keep the team ticking, you know. But don't expect him to last the whole battle. Um, spoiler alert, he doesn't. But again, he's done his job. His job was done in the first phase, keeping Darth Sarn alive. That taunt uh, really, really helps. So looking at here, I've got Cody, I've got a medic, I've got two sharpshooters and a lieutenant. So the good thing here is I've um, fractured um, the medic. So now whenever he tries to uh, revive, whether a tomb is annihilated or not, so Cody's about to go down with annihilate, uh, you know, as you would expect. Um, but even if I take out the, these two sharpshooters or the lieutenant, because the medic is fractured, it won't uh, not fracture. Um, isolated. Don't know why he's so fractured. Because uh, he's isolated, he can't do that heal. So uh, he's obviously gone. Um, too busy to my words to say fractured and uh, uh, isolate. But yeah. So uh, the point I'm getting to is because the medic is isolated, he cannot revive anybody. Which is there you go, bang. Proof is in the showcase right there. That is why it's uh, such a great tool that isolate. And I'd highly recommend that you isolate him and then go and annihilate um, someone else. So I was just had a quite uh, moderate hesitation there just to see if, um, if I wanted to use the annihilate and then I just sat there and remembered you need to have annihilate on cooldown phase four. Phase, you know, phase three is doable at Gear 12, I think that's the standard that you look for with the Synergy team. Uh, gear 4 becomes a lot easier if you have tunes that can control the battle, and that is where I think the getting the 4 out of 4 is, is needed. Controlling the battle, taking out the priority targets, stunning where you need to, um, and that's where characters like Nihilus, Malak, Thrawn are going to be really good in this. And if we get a G Notion uh, rework or more characters come in, I'm sure that is what they'll they'll be doing more controlling uh, tunes, and hopefully less you know speed need focused as well. That'd be quite nice. But coming into final encounters, so what have we got here? We've got uh, Pons as the uh, as the guy. So Arc Trooper for me is the one that needs to go down. He uh, is terrible because uh, the clone commander is the elite. So I think this setup that I've got here uh, for these guys is probably, in my opinion, one of the easiest. Um, and that's how much I hate Archer, by the way. He took the first annihilate. So, you know, I'm sat there thinking, you know, is Scion looking bad? Nah, he's all good. He's all good. Just gets, you know, that heal on the tray is, is really, really good. I'm taking down the clone trooper here. So, at this point, you know, probably there's the sharpshooter, which can put, obviously, armor shred on. But at this point, I'm sat there thinking, I've got enough sustain um, in the short term that I can um, heal myself back up. This is where Dooku starts coming into his own. Obviously, when he's um, under stealth, his repost goes under protection and his double tap gives you double tap of healing yeah it's a it's a very, very good team very pleased that i uh you know, brought this one up and got this uh got this working clone command is going down and at this point you've won the battle it's there's not a lot that they can do now they don't have the mass aoe And even we say with Scion looking pretty bad shape. Get some heals. We'll do his AoE and boom. He's gone from red to green in two hits. 
it's uh, it's beautiful, beautiful to watch. Again, nothing too shabby. It's uh, taking out their priority targets, and again, in worst case scenario, it's just keeping the battle alive long enough for, for Nihilus to go and uh, annihilate. And I think I showcase um, now. Yep, yeah, the amount of healing. 76,000 health he's just healed off that. 76,000. That's the health pool that he's currently looking at. Now you've got to be careful when the uh, team start doing uh, damage against your max health because, you know, they will eat through Nihilus' uh, health at that stage. But just a standard attack, Nihilus can't be beaten at this stage. And Nihilate to finish just for good, good measure. So that's uh, that one, and I'll see you very shortly for the, uh, the third battle. So as I mentioned uh, earlier on, I had to use a bit of a hybrid team uh, for the last one. I don't have a good Night Sister team. My uh, Zombie, Towson and Darker all went into platoons. Um, oh no, my Zombie, there you go, my Zombie is there. Um, my, sorry, my Towson and my Darker went into platoons and my Night Sister team's gone. Um, I can't use my full ba a Bounty Hunter team. Um, I don't have ones like uh, Django leveled enough or got the Zetas on. Um, so I've gone for a Bobber Fett lead um, purely for the crit damage. The thought behind this was Bobber Fett with his 50% uh, critical damage and 10% critical chance with a uh, General Grievous that is a gear 13 General Grievous um, who has high crit chance as well. So I'm thinking I'm getting some good crits here. Um, yeah. Just thinking that we could do some work. Obviously, I can't use T3 M4, which is part of the Suicide Squad for a Malak counter because he's a uh, light sided. But going for a, a Ventress uh, zombie, they obviously interact really well. Um, it gives two deaths to uh, Ventress um, before you know zombie can't revive anymore. And because obviously zombie's there, the Zeta on um, Ventress is unique. We'll just keep cranking out the damage for her I then thought I'd bring in Death Trooper for Terminate I thought that'd be uh, pretty pretty decent to try and do um, but in hindsight out of this team um, I think Trooper could have been left behind uh, and I really could have done with uh, another tank I think to take the pain off the zombie because obviously when zombie dies they don't automatically get another turn so there's that time where my rest of my team is open. I think that is what um, faulted me before. But this is a, um, a Grievous modded for crit chance. So yeah. This is the team that I went with. Didn't turn out 100% great. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought this potentially would bomb and not get through the first phase. So what I was thinking about here, trying to do here, is get the payout for... Uh, Boba Fett. So you'll see me do some really random sort of decisions and attacks. Um, and that's because I want to try and get Boba Fett to um, get the kill. That would do his payout. And I think that's more armor penetration. So, so what I'm doing here is looking at the uh, the sharpshooter going right. Let me try and get him down as low as possible. Um, I've obviously gone for the second special on Grievous there for the more max health. But dazing, I'm thinking, cool, you know, can we get him down? Problem is, I don't think Bob is hitting hard enough. Um, and then he goes into stealth. I'm like, wonderful. Excellent. Thanks for that. And now because I've been like faffing around and doing stuff, the, the other sort of team members are coming up to speed it, was, it just didn't start out too great I should have not concentrate on um, getting the uh, the kill so we can here come across execute can we and as you see it this time armor shred on zombie is Saturn 2 wonder but we've obviously now got death mark and I'm thinking can I use death mark yeah and I just like oh. Oh, it's terminate. terminate. Yeah, terminate. This is the move. 
And now I can't do Bobber's payout. It's like, okay, no worries. I'll just do that in the next phase. That is not a problem. Two armor shreds. Yeah. So, you know, you got paper zombie right now. Because of that armor shred. Yeah, it should just be basic in here to... Uh, to uh, have the cooldowns reset. Obviously, use the special there for the max health. It's going to open up with the... Uh, the immunity and cooldown reduction, or increase, I should say. Got no payout, and down comes zombie. And this is where I was saying earlier, you get left open for other people to attack. And uh, yeah, it's uh, this is where the sort of team could have done with a second tank, like maybe a short trooper, um, instead to uh, just have that torn you know, going, going, and going. Okay, it's not, you know, I'm sat here thinking it's not too bad. We've got the uh, lieutenant that we need to take down for the payout. And again, I was concentrating on the payout. And granted, this was gone midnight in my time when I was doing this battle. And I wasn't thinking 100% straight. I say, so you get rid of that taunt. And what I should have been doing here is getting down um, the lieutenant more than that. So that that would have actually worked. Sat here, do a basic, it's all good. Now he's got um, uh, torn up. I was sat thinking, great, torn was up. Bobber could have done it, but no, Bobber didn't. And Adventurous has come in and gone on him. So, yeah, great. Flip a terminate on here. And then down goes her. So, again, you know, two, uh, two phases in. It's not been dreadful. No, for the you know the hybrid mishmash team um, from a leftovers I had, I thought it was you know a really good battle, you know a really good team. But the fun begins in the next battle. So obviously, uh, as you might or may not see, armor shred has dropped off, which is quite nice. So we've now got Cody and his friends. And they hit like truck. So now I'm sat in a bad place. Zombie is sat there, which he can't take a move. He's waiting for Ventress to die. And this is where I think that extra um, tank would have been a lot better. Because I'd have another pre say another pre to sit behind. It would, would have just worked. But luckily they're still going for Zombie, which is uh, pretty nice. Popper goes down for one hit. Ventress goes down and now... Um, Zombie is back in the game, but doesn't have that taunt up and they've blocked the turn moves to come here. And all it takes is them to target the wrong wrong character. And it's all over. Doing the special to try and get some big damage in. Yeah, wrong move there, should you know should just use the basic to be honest. But again, concentrating on that medic, trying to get a kill here. Bob has gone because I couldn't get the kill which I should have been setting up for. Medic is nearly dead and then goes back under. Uh, it, it's starting to fall apart, as you can probably tell. Three armor shreds on uh, Ventura. She just needs to take a hit. Down goes Trooper. Still sat there thinking, can I, can I eat this out? Come on, big damage, big damage. Please, 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 please. Sat there thinking, you've got this. Surely you've got this, right? You've got this. And then there's a freaking Medic comes back. Oh, no worries. Let's, uh, let's get going again. We do armor shred. Armor shred. And... Yeah, I'm still that thinking, can I do it? Can I do it? You've got a good health pool, right? You've got a good health pool. Good health pool, right? Cody's down, one and one. Got this. Got this. Oh. Yeah. It was close. 